Okay, so just down at the tack today and uh, wanted to do a little bit of a video for the Nestle Trust. So I've actually not even come out that far. If we can just do a quick pan around where I am right now. So my camera lady, Naya, is just gonna pan around for us, show you where we are. Now, um, I actually love this particular part of St. Once, it's amazing and really abundant in life and things like that. And as you can see, my friend here has been very active and animated. So this is an Orma. Um, I've been teaching coastal foraging for a lot of years now in Jersey, and probably 95% of people I bring along have never seen an Orma before. So this is actually a real pleasure today to see these. Um, I'm actually a vegetarian at the moment, so I don't eat them anymore. Um, but I used to eat them you know, a few years ago. Uh, but I just think that's just such a crazy beautiful creature it looks like a bit of an alien um, So these are a bit of a delicacy for eating. They are actually a very tasty seafood And um, we're now in May. So this is outside of Orma season anyway, so even if we were able to uh, um, Eat this one today, it would be it would be against the law So the the dates that you can take Ormas is from October all the way through till April and only on a new moon and full moon and three days after that, okay? So the laws are quite strict because these guys are quite, um, you know, they're not super rare, you know, as they used to be, but they are pretty rare. So check this out here, that's actually so cool. See the way this thing moves quite quickly. And I am gonna be putting this armor back underneath a rock. And also size-wise, we're gonna do this, see this from a bird's eye view. The size-wise when it comes to an orma, from here to here needs to be at least nine centimeters if you're gonna take those. I think it's quite cool to appreciate, you know, instead of just buying something from a, from a fish market and, you know, it's just all done for you and you're just buying this creature, taking it home and cooking it. It's really cool to see it's in, in its natural environment, actually appreciate where your food comes from. And therefore, we will have a bit more of a respect for our environment and respect for the things that we're going to eat instead of wasting things and this, that, and the other that some seems that human beings can do. So anyway, there's my little rant. Here's my little friend, the Orma. It's going to go back here. Here's my friendly dog, Ella, for those people who know me and my dog. And uh, yeah, on to the next thing. We'll probably look at a few seaweeds. So the next video is coming up.